when Brett Lowe was not available to conduct the band and no one else put up their hand, I, uh, because of my previous experience as a Salvation Army officer, having led various Salvation Army bands from Portugal to Waimati in the south, um, I had that little bit of experience and ended up taking the band for about three or four months after Brett Lowe, uh, Brett Lowe left because of ill health uh, down to Wellington where his wife was working. I quite enjoyed uh, conducting the Curapé band. Um, it, uh, I found the, the members seemed to be quite responsive. Uh, I don't know a lot of music, but I am fairly well organised. And so because I realised that many of the band travelled half an hour more to go to band practice, I felt that that hour and a half of uh, music on a Wednesday night was important and I pushed them to play as much as possible so that I didn't do too much talking. I did a lot of conducting and they various hardly had time between uh, pieces that we played <laughs> uh, to catch their breath. This seems to have been appreciated and in the three years or so of my leadership because we found that Brett was unable to take back the band completely. Uh, the numbers at the band seemed to improve such that uh, by the time we eventually had our hundred, no, no, our 65th uh, celebrations, there was a photo of almost 30 members in the band. It's been a real thrill for me to have been in that situation where the band was very positive with new members coming and joining and the standard of playing became such that we, we were playing such things as the Hallelujah Chorus and some quite difficult pieces of music. I would say the highlight of my conducting of the band would have been preparing for that anniversary concert that was held in the Natia Memorial Hall when the hall was totally filled with uh, the audience. We had a band of almost 30 playing and uh, the, the people were amazed at the quality of the sound that came from our band. At that event, we had a Brett was able to come and take pieces. Uh, we were able to have Edwin uh, Randall, uh, who was a music teacher from Waihe College. He took some pieces. We had Alistair McMillan also taking pieces in that concert. But most of the pieces I had actually chosen prior to their becoming involved. So it was a real thrill for me to see such a, 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 a wonderful concert and the way in which bands, the band's people, I should say people because there is uh, almost more women now in the band than men. No, it's been a real thrill to be the, uh, the band master. But knowing that our time and why he was going to be reasonably limited, I've tried over the last year to withdraw from the leadership. And so Alistair McMillan and Brett, when he was available, were to take over the conducting of the band. I'm still there. Our house is still not sold. And who knows? we may be with the band for longer than we thought. In the first five years or so of playing in the Kirapai band, 
The main events of the year were uh, Anzac Day, maybe one or two concerts, usually in Pyra, uh during the year, and then getting ready for the caroling season, which was fairly limited to Pyra and Natia. In the recent years, um, under the leadership of a new president, uh, Luke Van Vliet, he has pushed us out so that we are now um, doing more events at Thames and uh, we have even had two bands out caroling, one on a truck and one walking and being very competitive with each other as to who realised the, the most uh, money. Um, we've been to uh, events at Waihi. Uh, we've been to at events at Kaiawa on the foreshore. And we've even had an event in a church over by Tikawata. I can't think of the name. So... Uh, our President Luke has really pushed us uh, to be more uh, community-minded. So without having a brass band in Thames, uh, we're, the Kirapai Band is covering Waihi, Thames, uh, uh, Kaiawa, Ngātia, Paira, this is quite an outreach for the band and I think possibly we've just about reached the maximum that the number of band members that we have could could do. Realising that there are people travelling over half an hour to get to practices and sometimes a lot longer than that to get to event, an event such as at the beach hop at, uh, not the... The, um, the Brits at the Beach at Wangamata. So I, I think that events-wise, uh, the band has reached its maximum. I've been tremendously thrilled with Under Luke's enthusiasm, the, the start of the uh, juniors learning on a Tuesday afternoon, and then, w without any pushing at all from anybody at all, there is now a seniors group meeting on a Monday afternoon for maybe those that uh, don't want to continue to play more difficult music. And they're meeting on a, a, a Monday for an hour's blowing, and then they have an afternoon tea. So we're catering for the children, for the keen bands people, and for those that just like to make a bit of music amongst the senior group. So, yeah, I think that the Kirabay band is doing possibly more than a lot of other bands would be with regards to playing and events. Unusual events for the band are likely to pop up at any time, perhaps. But noteworthy are two events. One was a, an invitation to our president practically the night before the event to go to Te Arawa to take part in the filming of a television crime series uh, that was based in Ireland and uh, to conclude in New Zealand. And uh, so at very short notice, we had almost a full band arrive in full uniform at the Tiaroa Domain. And we spent the morning uh, taking shots. There was a big crowd scene. They had a crowd scene of about 200 there. They had the actors and uh, our band was in the background and as the uh, the wicked uh, 
mayor of this supposed town tries to escape. Uh, there's police and uh, are members of the pub public scattering and running through the ranks of the band. Um, and this, we must have taken how many? Must have taken almost a dozen yeah, takes of this particular uh, scene. And I, we understand that later this year, 2023, uh, the final episode of this crime drama is to be shown here in New Zealand. Uh, I think there's about six episodes and uh, our band is supposed to appear in the final episode of, and it was called The Gong, The Gong. The band has been served so faithfully by members through the years, one of whom is Heather O'Hagan, who not only did the, tre uh, the secretary's job, but the treasurer's job and made applications to trusts, etc. for fundraising. When she said, shortly after our new president, Luke, took uh, charge of the band that she wished to retire, Luke uh, presented to the committee three new ladies, one to take over the treasurer's job, one to the secretary's job, and another lady who specialises in fundraising. So these ladies, none of whom were members of the band, um have come under the umbrella of the band and are at committee meetings and uh, presenting their reports and are really becoming enthusiastic. And one of them has even taken up the, uh, the tenor horn to learn it. So fundraising and the organisation of the band is really, really healthy at the moment. Luke has also looked at ways in which we might fundraise and so he suggested that we go over to a mall in Hamilton and uh, this has been done each December, early in the December and uh, a band of around about 10 have, has been able to go over there once and one year twice to fundraise and these events are worth around about $800 a visit to Hamilton and so financially the band is probably uh, in a very healthy state at the moment. So my name is Leone Robertson and I am the other part of uh, P Peter. Yeah. Um, we were at the beginning of the junior band when it was uh, Luke said we need to get some juniors going. So we uh, would go over to Kirapahi every Tuesday afternoon to open up and let um, the tutor in and the learners. I'd also go through to... Natia to pick up two of the learners, bring them back there, and every other week I would go back again to um, to Pyra to pick up another learner and bring them back to the to the hall. And we had we had good time there, um, getting these juniors going with their their music. Um, uh, yeah. Awesome uh, seeing these little ones. Some was uh, one of the young ones was only six, I think. Uh, she battled on, and Mum tried to get it going, but it didn't last. But that's okay. She's had a, a taste of it, and uh, yeah, and it was nice to get to know these these young ones. And um, so the the junior band has progressed really well, and at that um, that. Uh, special uh, concert at the Natia Memorial Hall, they performed for the first time 
and was were a real hit. Uh, it was really uh, great to see them, and they thoroughly enjoyed being top dogs, as it were, for uh, for that time. Yeah.